Mm, mm, I am a basic Windows 10 user and I totally love the experience. That was sarcasm, by the way. Today I'm going to show you how to give Linux, in this case I'm going to test out Manjaro, a little test run using a virtual machine. Now keep in mind, obviously this isn't going to be exactly like running Linux, but if you are stupid like me and you just want to give Linux a try before you really go all into it and reinstall an OS on your SSD, you might want to try this. So to start off, we need to go to the first link in the description and we need to get VirtualBox. This is the virtual machine software we're going to use. If you're running Windows, click on Windows. If you're running on OS X, click on OS X, or that's Mac OS. And if you're running on Linux, then why are you watching this video? But click on Windows Host and it will install, it will download, sorry, VirtualBox. While that's happening, we want to go to the second link in the description and we are going to download Manjaro. Now there are a whole bunch of different Linux installs and distros and all this other fancy stuff that I really don't have too much of a clue about. Just pick something you want. In this case, I'm doing Manjaro, which is Arch based. And that's what I'm going to be using. Now there are a whole bunch of versions, three versions. And if you are new to Linux like I am, I would suggest you pick up the KDE Plasma desktop environment version of Manjaro. So just click get KDE Plasma, then just click on this download button up here. Now it's three gigabytes, it'll take a little bit even if your internet is fast. Anyways, once those bad boys download, all you need to do is first open up the VirtualBox exe file because we are going to install VMware or VirtualBox goodness, I almost said the wrong VM software. Click next, then click next, then click next, then click yes, then click install. It's that easy. It's very straightforward. Now it's going to pop up with an administrator thing. You're going to have to press yes, and then it'll start installing and it'll be finished and just click finish and it'll open up VirtualBox. Now, once VM VirtualBox opens up, you want to click on new, then you want to type in the name of your virtual machine. I'm going to do Manjaro virtual machine. Then it'll say type, and in this case, I'm not running Mac OS X, so I need to click on it and find Linux. Then it's going to say version, it's going to say Mandriva, and then you're going to search through and you're going to look, okay, where's Manjaro? And you'll notice Manjaro isn't there. If you are not using Manjaro, what I need you to do is go into Google and just search up the Linux version you're using. And usually Google's very nice and it'll tell you Manjaro is a free and open source Linux distribution based on the Arch Linux operating system. So it's based on Arch Linux. So I'm going to go back to VirtualBox, select version and ooh, Arch Linux. So I'm going to click Arch Linux 64 bit, then click next. That's specifically for Manjaro. If you have Ubuntu, you need to find Ubuntu, which is its own thing. If you have some Debian based Linux distribution, basically just Google it and then match up the words. Now, next up, you need to pick your memory size. In all honesty, it's up to you. I don't think, you know, most of us aren't going to be doing a whole lot on the virtual machine to start. So you might just want to give it four gigabytes, which is just uh, 40, 96 megabytes, but you can go up to whatever you want. In this case, I have 32 gigs of Ram, but I would not go up to your maximum Ram capacity because you'll have performance issues on your Windows computer while you're running the virtual machine. So in this case, I'm just gonna set it to 4096 megabytes, which is four gigabytes. Then I'm gonna click next. Then it says hard disk. What you wanna do is just click create and make sure it says create a virtual hard disk now. Then you have a couple options. VDI is just default. It's a good option, click next. Then we have two different things. We have dynamically allocated and a fixed size. Just keep it as dynamically allocated. You will have a little bit of a performance drop, but it doesn't really matter. Then you can set the file location and size. So this is where you set the size of your Linux distribution. You can go from eight gigabytes all the way up to a whole bunch of two terabytes. In this case, I don't have a lot of space on my computer right now. So I'm going to set this to just eight gigabytes. There we go, 8.0 gigabytes and click create. Then when all that happens, oh, perfect. That means we're done, right? wrong we actually need to go into settings then oh, you're gonna have a little pop-up that you need to press yes on and when you press yes oh you got to press yes how many times do i have to press yes on this thing there we go so you're gonna have a pop-up that the administrator pop-up that i can't show you because i'm not on my virtual machine but you'll have a little pop-up and you'll need to press it a whole bunch of times until it stops for me, it was nine times. So in these settings, we need to go to system. Then we need to make sure we're on processor and just crank this up to like two or three CPUs or processors. Just keep in mind, once again, stay in the green region. 
And if you're concerned and you're like, oh, I only have like one CPU and that's my only green area, that's fine because once again, we're just test driving Linux. We're not doing like a whole bunch of hardcore computing. If you do plan on doing that, then obviously just installing Linux on an SSD and using it on your computer would give you the best performance. But if you want to be in the middle of those two extremes, then you could just crank this slider up. But just keep in mind, keep it in the green area. I'm going to go with four processor cores. Then we have acceleration, just leave it the way it is. Then going to the display section, we have screen. Crank up this video memory all the way up to the max if you want. Um, in all honesty, if you're trying to game on this VM, that's a really stupid idea and I wouldn't do it, but just increasing the video memory will make it run a little bit smoother. If you don't have a graphics card, then go in kind of the middle of this range. But if you have a graphics card, 128 megabytes really isn't going to do much, even to your measly 1050 Ti. Then click enable 3D acceleration. Now let's move on to storage. In storage, we just need to click on this little drop down here, add new storage attachment, click optical drive. Click add, then click on the Manjaro ISO that we got, then click choose, then that's basically it. That's all we had to do. So click OK, and now click the big start button. Now you should have your virtual box open up, and now we have Manjaro. Now we can boot with open source drivers, boot with proprietary drivers. This is all the fun of Linux that you're going to have to go through. In this case, I'm just going to boot with open source drivers and see where that takes me. Once again, keep in mind, this is just dipping your toes into the water of Linux. I would not use this full time for all your browsing things, just more of a playground and to not really commit to Manjaro, but at least still have fun kind of going around and experiencing Linux because it is fun. So a couple things you can do, you can click view, then go full screen mode and you'll be in full screen. I just need to make sure my recording picks that up. It does. Uh, keep in mind, I'm, I'm awful at Linux. I have no idea what I'm doing, but alas, now you can do what you want to do. You can open up stuff, type stuff in, open up the console. Oh, how do I open the console? Oh, Neo fetch. Oh, I'm going to be so cool. Look, I'm running Manjaro. Yeah. But anyways, just to give you a little bit more of an explainer on how to like use VirtualBox, if you go down to the bottom in full screen mode, you have the basic toolbar. So you can click view, then you can click on full screen mode, and that will take it out of full screen mode. And that's it. That, that's Linux. Now I'm going to show you how to turn it off because you'll probably inevitably want to turn it off at some point. So all you need to do is just click on the bottom left, then click shut down and it'll shut down your Manjaro machine. I'm just going to click OK. So it does it instantly. And oh, 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 virtual box is doing stuff. Then, oh, it's turning off. And there you go. Now the virtual machine is closed. It's powered off. And that's it. So that's how you give Linux a little test drive. I know very surface level video. I'd love to go more in depth into Linux, but I tried doing something for this video and I Googled for 20 minutes and I had no idea what I was doing. So I need a little more experience. So this might be the start of Linux stuff. I'm not sure. It'll see, uh, we'll see how much my brain can take of smashing it against my desk before I either figure something out or die from brain hemorrhaging. Anyways, I love you, sweetheart. Mwah! Uh, just kidding. I need to show you how to actually uninstall VirtualBox. So first off, if you want to remove your Linux machine, then you can right click, then you can click remove, then click delete all files, and it'll remove all the Manjaro files in that virtual hard drive that we made. Then if you close off VirtualBox, we have our file here, our ISO, you can delete that safely, and you can delete the VirtualBox EXE safely. Now, to uninstall VirtualBox, we can just press the Windows key and uninstall it like any other program, but a sh nice little shortcut is press the Windows key plus R, then you want to type in appwiz.cpl and press enter. Then it'll open up with this bad boy here, Programs and Features. Then you just need to search for uh, Oracle VM VirtualBox, click on Install, click Yes. Then click yes again, it's going to be on installing, doing its normal stuff. And then, guess what? When it's done, then it's gone forever. But anyways, I can finally give you the final kiss, while the piano in the background is just going wild. I love you, sweetheart. Mwah.